Hey everybody, it's Brian the Scrap Guy, and today I'm going to show you, using my Gypsy, how I laid out the cuts for this particular layout using the Cricut Light Dude cartridge. I'm working on a 12 by 24 mat on my Gypsy. Uh, I'm going to go in, and my Dude cartridge is already selected, as you can see down here at the bottom. I know it's blurry, so I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm using the Mountains, which is... Um, this key here and I want the shift which will be the background and then we're going to import that to the map. You can see that everything's still grouped together and this I'm zoomed in as far as I can go so you see that it's still all grouped together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shadow and move it to the top. Everything is still grouped and the reason that I want to do that is that I want to increase the size, the height, and right now, it's increasing the height and the width proportionately. In a minute, I'm going to bust out from proportionalism and really work um, here. I'm going to take off my um, link right here for size and then hit width. And then I'm going to change it to 24 inches, which then makes the mountains go all the way across the page. So here, I'm going to move that over, move this over, so it's got to be purple, so move that so it's the box is on the, and then move that. So now it's still grouped, and the reason that I want to do this is I want to increase my size to make it go edge to edge, and I want to make sure that they are, <coughs> excuse me, the same size. So that when I pick this one up, or pick this one up, I can just layer it on top of it when it's cut. So that is going to be my base. So now I'm going to add a page. Oop. So I'm going to go back to layer. This is layer one. And then I'm going to go what? make sure that that's on the page. So then I'm going to go here. Oop, sorry. You got to make sure that you're not clicked on. So then you come back here and you can enter in. I want to go shift off. I want to do my layers and I want this key here, which is actually the mountain, the second function of the mountain, which is the gondola for the ski lift. So I'm going to put that on. Oop, I lied. I want to go to layer two, and now I'm going to import it onto the mat. See? Right there. And I'm going to increase my size proportionately by using my key here. This I love this key. I think it it really m makes a big difference. So I'm going to kind of just play with it. And that's about the size that I want. So I'm going to leave this one grouped. Um, and it's probably 8 inches, 7 inches, 6, 7 inches. Um, but you'll see what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go into Advanced and Copy, which will then copy the whole thing. And then I'm going to move it over to my second position and proportionately reduce the size. So, so I'm, both layers are going to be the same in proportion so that you can layer it up and it makes sense. Um, and I'm going to do, you don't want to go too small because there's some small pieces in there. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. see if I zoom out if that helps the focus. Oh, a little bit. So uh, I'll work on focusing so that we can, so you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to copy it again, and then I'm going to do a third position. And I'm going to just increase the size. And you have to remember, these are going to be layered up, so they're not going to take up that much space. So this one is, if you go back to your basic screen, this one is about six and an six almost seven inches tall that's almost eight inches so let's take this one down just a little bit 
to be closer to six inches, and that one is four and an eighth. Let's go there. That should, they're about an inch and a half smaller than each other. So now, because they're still grouped, I'm going to do this. Here's my center line for my mat, and I'm going to move one of them below the center line. Unfortunately, this one is too big to do that, so I'm going to move this one down. And this allows me to get my cuts so I can lay out my cuts. And you know, on your 12 by 24 mat, you can use your center lines at six inches across and six inches down the center, or 12 inches down the center to kind of position out. And with the new guidelines around the edge, it really helps. So now I'm going to go into layer three. In layer three, I want to do this ticket here. And then we want to take this off, layers off, and do that. Shift, layers off. Do that. And then we want to do one more of those. And this is what Again, I like to move everything to the center, adjust my size, and we're about six minutes into the video, so I've got just about four minutes left to show you what I'm going to show you. This is going to be my title, um, and I've already done this once, so my cuts are already proportioned to what I want to do, but I'm showing you how to make this happen. So you have, one is, ooh, this is your base. This is your top layer, but I want to make it two. I want to make it a fold over. So you have this, which is your uh, sentiment, basically, and it says lift ticket. And I'm going to make this one, that particular one. I'm going to make it just smaller so that when you put it on here, it fits on, and you can do journaling there. I'm actually going to cut that top part off. Um, so I'm going to alter my own. I'm going to cut this top part off when I get to the cut. And then this goes... Oops. So you have a base, your sentiment. This goes on top of this, which that then goes on top of that uh, as a shadow. So you just break these apart so you can lay them out on your mat. And, the, and I leave everything grouped so that if I wanted to click on it, everything that I've done on this particular piece would be the same because then I can adjust the size uh, proportionately so that if I wanted to make it a quarter of an inch bigger, I could. So I've got three layers, and if you want to see each layer independently, you can, which I should have done. So there's the sentiment tag. Um, this goes on top of this, which then goes on top of this. This will be layered, and that will become the journaling tag that goes on the inside. And you'll see all of that when I cut it out and show you what I'm doing tomorrow. So layer two is the gondolas, and we're going to hide layer three so you can't see it. Um, and here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different colors, and every other one will be the reverse. So say I'm going to do orange and blue. So this will be orange, that'll be blue, this will be blue, this will be orange, this will be orange, this will be blue, to keep it really consistent and make it look like you're really at a ski resort. And then layer one is your mountain. I'm actually going, because this is not more than five inches, I'm gonna run this through my Xyron machine and sprinkle it with snow glitter for Martha Stewart. So when you see it all tomorrow, you will see what I do. But remember, just kind of walking you through what I did on the Gypsy, and if you have any questions, let me know, and you'll see the finished product tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Take care.